Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs and welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Guide. I hope you guys are having a good day. Today, we're going to go out in search of some strongholds. And uh, you might be surprised to learn that there is more than one stronghold in a Minecraft world, at least on Java Edition there is. On Java Edition, there are up to 128 strongholds in your world, all of which will have access to an end portal, and that all takes you to the same end dimension. So even if we find another stronghold today, it will still take us back to the end that we've been working on for the last little while. However, personally, I want to I want to discover a few other strongholds in this world, because while I've got a really cool portal room set up at the first stronghold I found, in future I want to do some other cool stuff with other portal rooms, and so it kind of makes sense to go out in search of some more. So I've got a bunch of ender pearls on me right now so that we can convert them into eyes of ender. For that, we will need some blaze rods. So I'm going to gather a bunch of those, convert them into blaze powder, and we should be able to make a bunch of eyes of ender with that. And that's going to allow us to discover some more of the strongholds. We don't have to activate the other stronghold portals, although I think it might be a good idea if we do, because that way we can use them for fast travel and get ourselves back to whatever my spawn point is by going through the end portal and back so we don't have to worry too much about expending too many fireworks but I have topped up my fireworks chest just in case and we're gonna head out in search of a brand new stronghold today now for those of you playing on bedrock edition there are three strongholds that will generate within a certain radius of your spawn point or the zero zero point at the center of the world which is usually roughly where your spawn point is anyway if you imagine a ring drawn around the zero zero point and the ring starts at 640 blocks away and ends about 1150 blocks away that is the ring in which you will find three strongholds and there are other strongholds scattered elsewhere throughout the world on some console editions, the legacy console editions on Xbox 360 and PS3, you will only ever find one stronghold per world because the maps are just that small. The maps are only like 800 blocks long, so you're really not going to have that much space to generate multiple strongholds. And I'm pretty sure on the PS4 version, that's still the same, or, or you maybe get up to three or something like that. But I'm, I'm pretty certain that you don't get that many, whereas... On infinite worlds, like the ones you get on Bedrock Edition and Java Edition, you can have a whole bunch. And Java Edition has 128, and they actually exist in a set of rings, which I've got a diagram for thanks to somebody who compiled this for the Minecraft Wiki and found all of this data. So as you'll be able to see from this diagram, the bold numbers represent how many strongholds you'll find in each ring, and the regular numbers, the larger numbers there, show you the coordinates at which strongholds start to generate. And the portal I've already found in my world, the stronghold I've already found, is at basically 1660 in that direction. So it actually goes pretty far out into the positive Z coordinate. What I want to do is head out roughly the same amount, maybe like 1500 blocks or so in the negative Z direction, so north, and we're going to see if we can find another stronghold out in this direction. We want to be staying between roughly 1400 and 2600 blocks away from 00. zero. So I'm going to head out in this direction and we're going to start chucking into pearls once we're over there. And hopefully we should be able to find a brand new stronghold. Okay, so this is the point at which we should start getting into range of another stronghold. And there's a lot of ocean around here. So I'm wondering if maybe one of these strongholds might have generated in one of these ocean biomes, which would be interesting if it had. But let's throw an Eye of Ender here and we will probably see it go in a different direction to south. But if it does go south, that's an indication that we are closer to the southern stronghold than we are to any of the other strongholds. And we should keep going north to make sure that we are a little bit further out. But I'm going to hop up to the top of here and we can see which direction this Eye of Ender is going to go. And it's actually going that way. All right, so this stronghold is over that way to the west. Excellent, let's have a look for it. And since there is so much ocean around here, we might as well stop at every landmass we can find and check that we're still going west. We are, by the way, we're right next to the Guardian farm here, so... Okay, that one broke. All right, uh, well, let's keep going west. It looks like we might actually have a stronghold somewhere underneath this snow biome. I haven't been back here for a while, so maybe we'll find one around here. Let's settle down on top of this ocean ruin and see if we're still going in the right direction. Yes, we are. It looks like it is curving a little bit south, but we should be able to... Oh, there we go. Let's grab that from the bottom of the ocean and we should be able to continue our journey this way, maybe bearing a little bit south. And I expect we will find a stronghold around here. Because remember, once you get past a certain set of coordinates, if we got outside of that uh, 2,688 
radius then we would be into the next ring and we could expect to find some more strongholds further away. Looks like we're actually headed in the direction of this little mushroom island over here which I'm fairly certain is not the mushroom island that we've encountered before. This is more like a mushroom archipelago. This is really nice. Let's chuck the Eye of Ender here. Okay, still heading off Oh, in a slightly different direction. We're still heading more or less precisely west though. Okay, we are now getting close to the border of where I would expect to find a stronghold in this world. So let's check. Yep, no, okay, we are heading back in that direction. So it looks like this stronghold might actually be under the ocean somewhere. It's going to be very difficult to find if it is. Maybe I should find a tree that I can chop down and make a boat, and then we'll be able to use the Eyes of Ender out from on the surface of the water. And what I'm looking for at this stage is actually a stronghold that I can eventually use as part of my museum project. So if this one is out on the ocean, it doesn't look like it's going to be ideally placed for that kind of thing, because I really want it to be in a plains biome or somewhere with a large amount of land that I can effectively convert into the site of a museum and I don't think I really want to do that out here in the ocean I don't fancy placing all of the grass blocks and stuff necessary to uh, to create a large structure out here nope looks like we broke that one okay but we're definitely headed in the right direction let's keep moving and as best I can tell with the drowned coming out all around me I'm pretty sure the stronghold is somewhere under the ocean here. It certainly seems like it's within the acceptable range of the coordinates that we would expect to find a stronghold, so let's dig down and get to it. I'm going to have to block myself in a little bit here to drain out the water, and then a little bit of digging down there. Probably shouldn't have done that, but hopefully if we dig down here, we should start to find a stronghold somewhere. And remember that while you're down here in the caves, you can throw an Eye of Ender, technically. Uh, it might not be the best idea, though, because you will typically find it starts to phase through the blocks, and then... I can't tell if that one has broken or not, but uh, it does seem to indicate the direction of the stronghold still. So I've been digging around here sort of randomly as I get down here, but once you open out a little bit more of a space, you can always throw another Eye of Ender and it will still drift towards the stronghold, especially if you've already been to the end and you've got Ender Pearls to burn. <laughs> so you can always make a bunch of Eyes of Ender if you need to without any real problems. And there are some telltale signs of getting near to a stronghold portal room, particularly if you hear the sound of lava. And obviously lava can generate underground in lakes and so forth, but there are two lava pockets on either side of the portal at a portal room in a stronghold. So chances are, if you hear a couple of lava sources in the distance, it's not like an overwhelming mass of lava noise. Chances are you might be closer than you think. Of course, running into stone bricks is a surefire giveaway, but also if you hear mob noises nearby, strongholds generate generate a lot of dark corridors and there's every chance that you will end up finding a corridor or two that has not been lit and has been able to spawn mobs in the meantime. And there we go, we found it. <laughs> we actually dug right up into the portal room. Fantastic. Let's come in here, let's disable the silverfish spawner, thankfully, and uh, let's let's take a look around this stronghold. So we are Still underneath the ocean, very much so, I believe. Like, right now, if I check the biome, we are, yes, we're in deep ocean. So, whoa, hello, whoa, don't want to don't wanna knock me into the fire pit. There you go, take a lava bath. Uh, yeah, this place, this place is very loaded. In fact, if I break this out, I think we might be, yeah, we might actually have a portal room that is in an ocean. I did not see this from the server, <laughs> from, from up here. I, I could have sworn that, yeah. That would have just been part of the seabed. You can't really see it from further up. You can see it now because I've knocked a hole in that and there's light shining through from the lava pit below. But yeah, you really could not see that all that much from the surface. So I must have passed that by. Wow. Okay. So at least we have this now and at least we know where another stronghold is. I should really take the coordinates of this and should also probably disable the lava down here as well. So let's turn all of that into obsidian in case I want to come back. And we have one Eye of Ender in here already, so we would need 11 more to fill out this portal. So it looks like this is at negative 2000, negative 1380. And now I have a hunch that if we head back in uh, an easterly direction and we continue around the ring, we'll probably have them kind of spaced out in a sort of triangular formation. So we've got one that's basically at the bottom of that first ring. We've got one in the top left. I have a hunch that we'll probably find one in the top right as well. And they're kind of evenly spaced out around the world. So I think we might have a chance of finding that one today. This stronghold looks like it's been through the wars though. It empties out into a cave system over here. There's probably a ravine or two blocking our way as well. We've got skeletons and creepers all over the place, but I'm going to have a quick look around here to see if there's any 
worthwhile loot up in here because occasionally you find some good stuff well <laughs> I think that's pretty symbolic of what we expected to get here. Three iron ingots. Whoa, and hello, we got one of those as well. <laughs> and I've also started to wake up the occasional silverfish th thanks to that explosion. So between the ocean setting and the lack of decent loot and the silverfish, I'm not really going to spend too long around here. I'm going to hop through to the end. And as you can see... Just to prove it to you guys, this is the same end we've been working on the entire time. This is the same end dimension. You don't get a brand new one for every stronghold. You just get teleported to the same one. If you need to fight the dragon, you fight the dragon. And then we can head back to the overworld. And then from the overworld, we can go out and take a look for stronghold number three. So if my hunch is correct, we're likely to find another stronghold somewhere around here. I've headed about 1900 blocks east of 00, zero and stayed on roughly the same uh, Z coordinate, so sort of roughly the same uh, amount of distance travelled north. We've just gone east instead of west this time, and we might be able to find ourselves the third stronghold. Now, if it goes directly west or kind of to the south west right now, there's a chance that it's probably trying to zero in on one of the other strongholds we've already found, and it might be further away. But we could always check and try and triangulate a position from around here, just in case we got lucky and it's actually super close to this point. So let's throw our Eye of Ender, and okay, now that is heading to the southeast, so that is presumably now heading to stronghold number three. So let's fly a little way this way, let's come to rest on the top of that tree over there and see if our Eye of Ender is going to continue in this direction. And it actually has veered very firmly south now. So that's that's good. That means we're probably getting closer to the location of the stronghold. I think it might even end up being in this plains biome over here. And if it is, then that's really lucky because I really wanted to have a nice open plains biome in order to start building the museum uh, in future episodes. So it's going to be a long way down the line at this point. But... Yep, it's curving even more that way. We could always try throwing one from the air just in case. Oh, and that's actually going back in the opposite direction now. So chances are that one broke. I think we might actually get a stronghold somewhere underneath this forest biome. And let's fly up and take a look at the surrounding terrain because this could be kind of a perfect location if we wanted to build close enough to our central spawn location. Let's see where we're at. This is quite a nice large open space. We've got some forest biomes. We've got some plains. Nice and close to an ocean as well. And there's an ocean monument right there. That could be another exhibit for the museum if we eventually build here. That could be something quite special. Let's head up to the top of this hill and give another quick ender pearl throw just to make sure that we can triangulate the position a little better. Because if we do... Okay, so it's going to be slightly more in that direction. But I think somewhere over the top of this hill is where it's coming to rest every time. Let me quickly head over to the plains biome and try and cast another ender pearl from here. Yep, yeah, okay, so it is definitely underneath this hill. Fantastic. Let's try digging down somewhere in this vicinity. And this might end up being the perfect location for the museum project when we start that. There even looks like there might be a bit of a cave entrance here. Oh, okay, this is perfect. This is perfect stronghold exploration territory. We might need to dig back around in the other direction unless the cave loops back on itself, but this looks like a substantial cave system. So this could even lead us to the stronghold without us having to do all of the digging I just did underneath the ocean. Okay, we might have to do a little bit of digging because <laughs> it seems like the cave doesn't necessarily loop back around in the right direction, although it, there's a little offshoot of it over here which could potentially lead somewhere but that sort of leads out in these directions and we really want to be going back this way i think i'm hearing zombie noises and skeleton noises from this direction so that might be one of the stronghold corridors let's keep that in mind let's dig down a little bit further because the stronghold typically generates a little bit lower down in the world there don't tend to be that many strongholds that you find evidence of on the surface so best to keep digging and I, i'm digging towards that zombie noise in the hope that they're going to lead us to victory here it sure sounds like there's a lot of zombies around here somewhere doesn't it i can't quite tell where they're coming from but any minute now i'm probably going to knock through a wall and i will end up where we need to be oh no i think we might actually have found a spawner <laughs> which explains the sheer amount of zombie noises i've been hearing but yeah that all seems to be mossy cobblestone and not mossy stone bricks so <laughs> we found a zombie spawner instead of the stronghold i was looking for but hey it's a find it's definitely a find there we go should be able to uh <laughs> at least 
try and defend ourselves against this horde of zombies from a distance with the spawner lit up a little bit better the problem is of course then they're starting to spawn reinforcements there we go let's clear out a whole bunch of them let's try and take care of that creeper as well before he decides to come over and get a piece nothing all that interesting in the chest there we might come back for that stuff later oh the creeper is still here lovely <laughs> all right maybe this could lead us down in the direction of the stronghold though let me chuck another eye of ender to see if we are headed in the right direction or not uh nope okay it looks like that went back that way let me try from further down in the cave so we can actually see the angle that it's traveling at okay good so we do need to head back in this direction oh my goodness i'm down in this cave i'm still i'm underneath the river biome now so i probably need to be digging back in the direction of the forest but i i heard a guardian sound through the cave wall which kind of makes me think we might be very close to the temple and the last thing i want when i'm digging down around here is to get mining fatigue because <laughs> if you get too close to the temple even if you're not in the water that can still happen so yeah maybe i should dig in the opposite direction we got it <laughs> i found it i managed to dig through to a cave system that had a bunch of noisy skeletons in it and uh there's a little bit more cave back here with even more skeletons apparently but look i can see in the distance over there we have ourselves some naturally formed stone brick which means yes we have found this stronghold and it should still be right underneath this river here but the portal room itself seems to be underneath that forest biome and i'm actually coming through in one of the prison cells in here but let's see what else we can dig up in this stronghold hopefully we should run into the portal room fairly quickly although it's more likely to be lower down let's see what we've got in the chests here oh two diamonds all right i'll take those let's chuck out some of the diorite or something yeah we'll be able to uh to keep the diamonds on us some iron leggings i can probably leave behind though yeah let's prioritize moving downwards because the portal room is usually on one of the lower levels in the stronghold in my experience let's see oh we've actually got an abandoned mine shaft here as well interesting oh i hope those spiders i hear in the distance are not cave spiders because that would be an irritation <laughs> uh let's see what we've got around these corners looks like most of these are leading to nothing much but i wonder oh hello <laughs> yeah nice big lava lake down here hopefully that hasn't erased the portal room i don't think it should have though and yeah that skeleton can get down there <laughs> the lava fall behind here is actually blocking me from placing water on this block to get rid of the obsidian but thankfully we should be okay let's see if we can bridge around the outside here and come across anything around this side i've used up so many torches in this kind of caving expedition that happens every time we find uh something that might be a stronghold that i'm having to make myself a bunch more torches but hopefully this should be enough to get us around the rest of the stronghold and uh, i got an abandoned mine shaft here so i guess i've got wood handy here as well come down into a fountain room here let's see oh okay the abandoned mine shaft breaks off in a couple of different directions here this looks like yeah it leads back to a place that we've already been so i wonder if maybe we need to venture out through this mine shaft and explore a little further in this direction or could it even be that the abandoned mine shaft has generated after the stronghold and has removed the end portal if it had that would be kind of cool but also really bad because i really wanted to build something here let's step back and throw our eye of ender okay it looks like if the portal room is present it should be over in this direction so i wonder if we can make our way through the caves take a bit of a shortcut to the portal room well i found the library at least uh, some zombies have apparently found the library as well but that's fine we should be able to make our way through here probably take out some of the cobwebs let's see if there's anything worth taking up here in the stacks there's usually an enchanted book or two in these chests uh, oh we've got a few of them here piercing efficiency fire protection hey not too bad that's not terrible let's see if we've got anything down here on the shelves as well nope just books and an empty map in that one okay not too bad though let's hop down here and i think i heard some lava popping behind one of these walls so hopefully somewhere around this level bit of redstone bit of bread we should be able to find our portal room yeah, from the sound of it, we are right on top of the portal room here. I'm not quite sure where it is, but if the lava noises are to be believed, are we getting further away from them now? Yeah, I think it might actually be above us rather than below us. That's pretty unusual, but it could be the case. It could be that this one is a little closer to the surface. I guess we're still quite low down. We're still below Y equals 40. So that looks like... Is that one of the lava pits? Whoa, yep, hello. <laughs> We're digging up into the portal room right now. And 
if I'm right... Oh no, it's a lava lake. <laughs> okay, it's just a giant collection of lava. Never mind. Where is this portal room then? This stronghold is leading me on a merry dance, let me tell you. There's so many weird winding passages and doors that lead to nowhere but still somewhere and I still have not run across the portal room at all. I think we might be seeing somewhere that I've been before here but that's... That's a, is that another library or is that the library I've already visited? Nope, haven't been to this one. This is a brand new library. <laughs> this is a completely different library. So this thing... Ah, yes, finally. Okay, portal room was right next door. And yet once again, we are going to break the silverfish spawner. Although, considering that there are 125 other strongholds in the world, we could always come back and make something out of a silverfish spawner in future if we wanted to. But for now, I am going to fill this one in as well. And we'll take the coordinates of this one because it is actually underneath the plains biome. So maybe with one of the empty maps in the library, we could take a better overhead look at what we're working with here. But terrain wise, this is actually pretty ideal as far as the location that we want for our museum project goes. We will give that a try in future, I think. So there we go. Like I said, finding strongholds once you're actually at the location is not always an easy process unless you have a bunch of ender pearls that you want to spend and you want to dig straight down from the surface. But when it comes to locating strongholds throughout the world, there are going to be a bunch of different opportunities to do that. And you will find that they tend to generate with quite even spacing around these rings. So not only do you get three strongholds within about 2,500 blocks of your spawn point, you'll also find six more on the next ring, ten more on the ring after that, and then more and more and more as you get further out into the world. And strongholds are actually going to be fun locations to build bases and stuff like that, because you will always have nice, easy access to the end if you build over a stronghold. So if you're on a multiplayer server, for example, and your group has already found a stronghold, but you think you might want to build around one, then chances are you could always go out and find another one simply by triangulating their position a little bit and figuring out where the next one is going to be. So hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. It's just been fun to explore the world a little bit more and scout out locations for this museum project I have in mind. Thank you so much for watching the Minecraft Survival Guide. My name has been Pixel Riffs. Don't forget to leave a like on this episode if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, and bye for now.